Okay, what I'm going to talk about today briefly is listening devices. Well, more like things that can be used as listening devices, but are generally everyday objects. When you talk about listening devices and bugs to people, most people think about what they've seen on the movies, on the James Bond movies, on the Jason Bourne movies, or on the TV shows, etc. But there's plenty of fairly common items out there that can be used to listen into people's conversations. We've got dictaphones, which I'll talk about in a moment. Cell phones these days, smartphones, most come with a voice recording app already in them. Some of those can be set to uh, voice activation. You can get apps where you can record all your calls coming in, all your calls going out. And if somebody's serious about listening into what you're talking about, etc., and knowing where you are these days, the easiest way for them to do it is get access to your phone. If somebody puts spyware on your phone, um, they're going to know where you are, who you're talking to, what messages you're sending, virtually everything about you. I tell people if you've got a serious concern that you're being watched, followed, etc., get rid of your phone, buy a new one. That's the easiest way to get rid of any uh, spyware on a phone. Now, dictaphones. One reason I'm doing this video is a friend of mine has uh, just been caught out. He was caught by his wife talking to his girlfriend while he was in his car. And how his wife caught him out was by simply putting a dictaphone in the car on voice activation. Uh, these will run for 72 to 48 hours recording. So she put it in there one day, picked it up a couple days later, and she had all, everything he was saying. Um, I've told people over the years, one of the best training courses you can ever have for personal communication security is to date a jealous woman, especially a jealous Hispanic woman. Because, to put it politely, they will keep you on your toes. Now, something like this, dictaphones, are very, very commonly available. If you took this and put it in a room, put it in a conference room, put it in an office, put it in somebody's car, put it on voice activation, this will record everything that's been said in that room, in that car for 48 to 72 hours. All the person putting it in the car room has to do is go and pick it up later and they can download everything that's been said. Now, I know people that's gone and spent thousands of dollars on bug detecting equipment. And to be honest with you, they've wasted their time. Because bug detecting equipment is not gonna pick up a dictaphone. This would be classed as a hardwired device because it doesn't transmit anything in the air. This is just recording. So as your bug detectors, your frequency scanners are generally picking up anything that's in the airwaves, this is not transmitting anything. So the only way you're gonna find these is by physical search. If you think you're under surveillance and people are listening into you before you have any meetings, etc., before you talk about your girlfriend in your car when you shouldn't be having a girlfriend in the first place, make sure you search your car to ensure there's not a dictaphone placed under your seat. Um, so, the only way to detect something like this in a room is a physical search. Now, if we wanted to enhance this a little bit, and you know what, these are cheap. These run like under $50. You spend $50, you can get a good dictaphone these days. And these are, these are old fashioned. These days, you get ones a lot more up to speed than these. If we wanted to en enhance this $50 listening device, we can put on a $10 microphone. So this will enhance the recording quality. This also enhances, well, enhances the distance as where, from where the actual recorder can be from the microphone. And again, this can be classed as a hardwired device. So let's say we wanna listen into what somebody's saying in the room next door. We can drill through the wall, place the microphone in the wall, and our recorder is in the other room. So the people in the room where we're listening to have no idea that they're being listened into 
because they're not going to find a recorder even if they do the search of their room because the recorder is in the, in the room next door. This we classed as a basic spike mic. So if you think you're under serious surveillance, not only do you have to search any rooms you're in, but also the rooms next door, the rooms above, the rooms below, any false ceilings. Because something like this would not be picked up by uh, a bug detector, a frequency scanner. The only way you're going to find something like this is by doing a physical search of the room and the rooms around the room you're in. So it's all simple stuff. But these things, even though they're very, very basic, are still very, very effective. As I said, I know somebody that's, uh, that should have known better that's just been caught by his uh, jealous Hispanic wife. But that's another story altogether. So there's lots of things out there that can be used as listing devices that aren't quite listing devices. Very, very simple objects, uh, everyday objects. So if you think you're under surveillance, make sure you physically search the location you're in and around the location you're in. Um, I would not recommend people recording other people's conversations these days. In most places, if you're thinking of recording somebody's conversation, check with the local laws. Because in most places, privacy, due to privacy laws, you could be breaking the law by recording somebody else's conversation without their permission. In most places, that conversation, if you wanted to use it as evidence, is not going to be admissible in court. Well, to start off with, the chances are you were actually recording the conversation without that person's permission would be illegal in the first place. That doesn't apply to jealous Hispanic girlfriends and wives because they generally don't care about the law. They just want to uh, screw you over. But that's another topic altogether. So hopefully from this little chat on listening devices, you can uh, be a little bit more aware if you think you're being watched, followed, etc. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, send me a message, and thank you for watching.